Hey folks, I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching my video. Today I'm trying to uh, organize our garage and my shop a little bit. I need a, a good place to hang up my weed eater. So I'm going to take some three quarter inch ply scrap that I've got laying around and knock out a hanger real quick and show you how to do it. I got a couple of dimensions that I need to get off of my weed eater first. I need to know the skinny part of the handle so I know how wide to make the slot to fit that into. So on mine it runs uh, about an inch and a half. Um, up to about two inches right here. I also need to know about where I want this thing to sit in this saddle I'm going to make for it. So I want it to sit about here. So that dimension is about uh, three and a half thereabouts. So I'm going to probably make the throat about two inches and I'll make the saddle part about three and a half inches. Then I also need to know how deep it is from the back to the center of the handle so that I know how far out from the wall it's got to sit. Just sit it down here and measure the height. So the center is uh, right at two and three quarters. So I can just um, put it about three inches away from the wall. So my scrap pieces for this um, are just kind of what I had laying around. I had one at uh, 10 by eight. I'm gonna use that as a back piece. And then I had another one at uh, seven and a half by eight. I'm going to use that as the support. And then um, I cut a couple of um, uh, four inch gussets. Thinking I'm going to build it like this. That way I got plenty of room to attach it up top. Probably like so. So I'm going to cut a rabbit. Part of the depth of this piece uh, through here, I'm just going to use a, uh, uh, what is it, a 23 30 second router bit. Cut a partial rabbit here to set this into that'll just give it maybe a little bit more strength so you can build this without cutting this rabbit in here i just wanted to do it because i've got a new router table and i wanted to run something across my router table so <laughs> i just ordered like a mixed bag of screws from mcfeely's they offer them like a discount and i ended up with some of these uh, they use a torx head but inch and a half fluted screw so they're good screws um, anything like you know inch and a half uh, inch and a quarter inch and three quarter screw something like that I'm gonna put a hole at right in the center I'm gonna put one an inch in from each end and then I'm gonna drill that through and then I'll countersink it from the back I've just marked them center of the of the uh, rabbit so I can drill them on this side and then just uh, come over to this side and countersink them then on, on this one, what I've done is I've just used the same width for the support and the back. So it makes it easy, you know, to line it up. I'm just going to clamp it from one side and I'll drill these two holes and then I'll move my clamp and drill the other one. And before I take the clamp off, I'm going to mark both of these bottom just to make sure I keep them lined up the same way. And I'll put a second clamp on the other side before I take my first clamp off. And then I can drill this last hole. Got all my holes located. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, with the gussets. I'm just going to come up an um, inch and a quarter uh, from the bottom and an inch and a quarter from the top line it up with my rabbit, line it up with the edge here. I'm gonna drill a hole here and then I cut a flat on, on one corner just to make it easier to clamp. But I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll drill and countersink this hole and then put a screw in it. Then I can move the clamp and drill and countersink this hole and then take it back apart before I, uh, so I can glue it. It's three quarter plywood, so I'm gonna come in three eighths, make me a mark right there. So I just got one screw in there now to keep it in the same spot so I can drill the second hole. I'll drill and countersink this. I'm just gonna put a mark so I'll know which side is which and which one of these gussets goes on which side. I'll do the same thing to the other side. And so same deal on this side. I just drilled the first screw, placed it, and then I'll, uh, I'll locate and drill the second hole. And then I'll mark it also. And then I'll just take these screws out set my gussets and my screws off to the side so I've got the bottom and the back marked so I know this is the front and now all I'm going to do is trace out my pattern 
that I'm going to cut out for the weed eater and uh, cut that out on my scroll saw. When I measured my weed eater, what I decided uh, or found is that I need the center hole to be three, three and a half inches in diameter and I needed a slot about two inches wide to get it into. So I'm going to uh, center the main hole uh, three inches out, then draw my circle and then I'll just, then I'll form the, the opening. So I'm going to come out three inches from the back and then center on this. So that'll be my center. And I'm going to take my cheap little grade school compass and I want a three and a half inch diameter hole. So that means I need a, um, I need a one and three quarter radius. So I just set my, I set my compass to one and three quarters. That'll give me a three and a half inch hole and then center it here. Draw my circle. something round. I've got a dowel rod so I'm just going to use that and I'm going to come off of my circle line and make sure that I that I cross before this line that I just drew with my square. Come down like so and same thing over here. Doesn't have to be exact. Then I'm going to take my square and come off of that line down to here. I'm going to take the peak of that little curve that I just drew and come down to here. So um, I just cut it out and then uh, the way I laid it out and with the exception of the back, because it's going to go into that rabbit. I just knocked all the corners down with uh, sand and block just to make them smooth so, you know, they're not knuckle getters or uh, splinter problems. And uh, now it's ready to put together. Last thing I'll do is drill a couple of screws in through the top of the weed eater support <clears throat> into the gussets. So. I'm going to come in an inch and a quarter from the back and this is four so I'm going to come in an inch and a quarter from the front. So I'll put one and one and a quarter and one at two and three quarters. Same thing over here, one and a quarter and one at two and three quarters. <clears throat> Come in three eighths because that's center of uh, three quarters. I got to find my mounting spot up in the garage and it'll be ready to use. Here I've mounted it on the wall using a couple of um, two inch screws into a stud. And as you can see, the weed eater fits nicely into it. It keeps it spaced off the wall just a touch. It's fairly secure because I've got that throat there so it can't vibrate out or you know, with the garage door going up and down or anything like that. So it should stay put. In the description below, I left a link for the uh, router bits that I use for the glue uh, spreading tool that I use. If you need those uh, or you're looking for a place to get them, you can click on those links and it'll take you right to it. So thanks for watching my video, folks. I appreciate you supporting my channel. Check out some of my other videos. Hopefully you'll find something there that you can use as well. Hope to see you back soon. God bless you.